Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do. It is going to be a new Will I Buy It? This is my series that I post every single Wednesday. I'm gonna chat with you over the new makeup releases that have been announced. I'm gonna talk about what has my interest, perhaps what I already purchased, and then also the products that don't interest me so much. I do always leave my playlist down below. I also started the community playlist a while back, so any creator who makes a style of video can add theirs if you wanna catch what a bunch of people are thinking on all of these new makeup releases. But I have a lot to get through this week, so let's go ahead and get started. Welcome in. Okay, so first off, I did do some filming today for my Instagram on this look. I did a video on the eye look. I'm using the Robbie D. Christie and ColourPop palette. Something about that palette makes me want to like try different things and different color combos and just makes me feel like I can do big things when it comes to makeup. If you haven't seen, I do have a video on the collection that is already up. I have two different looks that I do with the collection. I swatch everything, I give some thoughts, I compare it to her palette that she released with PR. There is also a giveaway for the entire PR box in that video because they actually sent me two for some reason. I'm not sure why. So there is a giveaway for the entire PR box in that video. So if you haven't seen it yet, I'll put it up in the cards. Highly recommend you go check it out. But if you saw that video, I was like so excited. I just was having a blast and kind of the same thing happened today as I was getting ready. I don't know if, I don't feel like the look came out the best with my skills. I feel like this eye is like not, not doing so well, but this eye I do feel like is really pretty. So I was just, mm, you know, I, I like tried new things. I tried a new color combination that I don't normally do. I was trying like different techniques and different brushes and you know, it's fun to get out of the comfort zone every once in a while. Sometimes it's not a total home run, and especially when I'm filming, sometimes that makes me not as confident to come on camera. But you know, you never learn if you never try. So that's what I did today. And then I also used some products from the Fenty Beauty Trio that I featured in my latest Sephora haul. So I have one of the cream blushes on, a highlight, and then also the gloss bomb, which I feel like is making my lips look gigantic at this moment. So those tutorials will be going up on my Instagram, which is March Beauty Words. If you're not following me there yet, you definitely should be. Also, my Instagram just finally did that update, and I hate it. Oh my word. I hate it. But speaking of that, I'm going to go ahead and slide over and pull up Instagram and see the shopping app that it has now become. A lot of times in these videos, I have been starting off with any products that I had received in PR that I would have been talking about this week, but I haven't received anything this week that I haven't already touched on in the past. So no haul to show you this week. So I thought we could start it off talking about a product that I already purchased. How about that? When I started getting tags on this new eyeshadow palette from Huda Beauty, I was like, you don't say. You don't say that a lot of you think this palette looks like something I would enjoy or this palette looks like something that I would like to have in my collection. You don't say. Because I say. Okay, from Huda Beauty, this is one of her new Obsessions eyeshadow palettes, the Gold Obsessions palette. Yes. Yes, please. I'm a big fan of the smaller Huda Beauty palettes. I've purchased quite a few myself, and this one just, it looked beautiful. It said different finishes of buttery mattes, metallics that rival liquid gold and shimmery, top shirt, shimmery toppers, who? A new texture, pink shimmer, and gold metallic base that's actually adorned with flakes of gold. You know, I didn't even read that part, and I still bought the palette, so... That's great. This is actually an exclusive to Cult Beauty. I think... Cult Beauty was one of the first like bigger retailers that her products started to become available on because the thing on the Cult Beauty website said it's exclusive because it's celebrating their like five year anniversary of being available on Cult Beauty. And I've never placed an order with Cult Beauty before. They are a UK based um, retailer. I was like, you know what? I really want this eyeshadow palette. So I headed over to Cult Beauty this morning. I purchased this and I did also purchase a couple products from Vive Beauty, Jamie Genevieve's new line. I talked about it last week. It's on its way to me. I'm very excited. I don't know how long it will take to get to me. I just did like the free standard shipping. Um, so I don't know. It could be a while before it comes, but I really wanted it. So I decided to buy it. I just purchased the Huda Beauty Khaki Haze palette in my most recent Sephora haul also. So when this came out, I was like, do I really need it? No. No. But I got it. Because it's so beautiful. I was excited to also pick up some of those Vive um, lip products that, that I got. So at some point, I will have a Cult Beauty haul coming soon. And yep, 
I wanted this palette. I was definitely also trying to buy another eyeshadow palette this morning on the cult beauty website because i saw these on i'm reading from term of one i always link her in my description box busy art is coming out with the petite force collection uh four new eyeshadow palettes and yes <laughs> Uh, I will say Viseart really doesn't even have one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas, but I do like some of their smaller palettes that I've tried versus some of the larger ones. The first one that was shown, I really wanted that, but it's actually going to be four in total. So the first one that I that really caught my attention was Lilas, which means lilac in French. This one is more cool toned. It has four shades, two mattes, two satin shimmers, and I mean the cool tones with a little bit of pink in there. I thought that was so beautiful. It immediately caught my eye. But then there's also three other ones. We have Praline, which is a chic confection of almond caramel and cream shades. Chocolat. This one has cocoa and honeycomb hues. Framboise. I know I'm pronouncing these incorrectly, please forgive me. A, delica a delicately sweet souffle of luscious berries and cream and then the Lilas, which is the creme de la creme of luminous luxe. Okay, yes, I was definitely checking because Viseart is available on Cult Beauty and I was like, well, if they're here, I might as well just purchase that Lilas palette. Uh, but they did not have these particular palettes available yet. It does say available now, so but online at Viseart. So maybe they're only gonna be available to the Viseart website. These are $22 each. I mean, I, like, I kind of really want that cool tone one. I have so many eyeshadow palettes, and I just keep purchasing more eyeshadow palettes, and it's like, I only have two eyes. What am I doing to myself? But it just, it looked beautiful. But I ended up not grabbing it, but I don't know. I might have a moment of weakness and order that. I'm just... Just being honest with you. Some more new eyeshadow palettes that were just announced. These are from House Labs. So this is Lady Gaga's brand, also available on Amazon. These are the four-way shadow palettes. Each quad includes four blendable finishes and colors reminiscent of the escapes they're, na they're named for. $24 for each quad. So we have for every day, for fantasy, for sunset, for pay, ooh, um, for disco, for poolside, for runway, for, sedu uh, for seduction. So these are available now on Amazon. Okay. So I do like smaller palettes, like these four pans. That's interesting. Um, you know, just kind of looking at this photo right off the bat, nothing popped out to me the way that the one from Huda Beauty did or the one that the way from Viseart did and kind of scrolling through the different swatches of everything. I, I mean, I do like the concept behind them. I just don't know if I absolutely need to run out and get it and especially because there are other makeup products and palettes in particular that are really causing me to do that double take. If something doesn't do that for me, then I try not to talk myself into it. Like I try not to talk myself into makeup. That's something I have said from like the beginning of these Will I Buy It videos four years ago or whenever I started them. So I'm probably going to pass on these. Speaking of an interesting eyeshadow palette, so Kylie Cosmetics is doing a collaboration with the Grinch. So we do have a full collection. There's a shadow stick set, a pressed illuminating powder, a shimmer eye glaze, the Kyliner liquid liner pen, the pressed powder palette, a lipstick set, a lip kit, uh, and then some high gloss ornaments. And this is going right now, it just says coming soon. Definitely had quite a few tags on the eyeshadow palette. Some of you were damning me the palette, um, especially before we saw the inside and we just, you know, got the gist that it was going to be something green and then we saw that it was going to be with the Grinch and a lot of you know that I have been loving green tones lately, which hasn't always been the case, but the palette does look cool. Something about Kylie Cosmetics palettes, a lot of them have been causing me to do a double take as of recently. I still haven't purchased any of them, but I definitely give them, give them a second glance and kind of think about it. This one, I still, I like it. I do though wish that maybe there was a little bit more green in it. I think that would have been really cool. Maybe if that would have been the case, I would have been more interested in looking at this one a little bit further. But I don't, I, again, I just purchased an eyeshadow palette. I purchased two, especially a really expensive one in my latest Sephora haul. Like I can probably talk myself out of this one. So I'm not gonna grab that and then everything else from the collection, nothing really jumped out at me. It was definitely the palette that did the most, but very curious to know what do you think about this collection from Kylie. Right, this next collaboration, I'm kind of like, hmm. 
Um, it is a collab with Morphe, so Morphe is doing collabs like left and right these days. But this says, bringing us back to our childhood, Morphe brushes with Lisa Frank. It's a full collection, so we have the eyeshadow palette 35B. Uh, this is $30. There's a Treat Me Sweet 5-piece beauty sponge set and case for $19, and the Blend Bright 6-piece brush set with a bag for $32. Will be available November 24th, and also at Ulta. I've Okay, so this one, it's just not really calling to me. I'm not a huge fan of Morphe, really not purchasing much from Morphe these days. Not a lot is really kind of calling to me. But with Lisa Frank, she was, I thought, like the brand was coming out with their own makeup line like last year or two years ago or something like that. And I've been seeing some people chat about it. Like I know my friend Jen Loves Reviews had uh, participated in their Kickstarter. So, you know, donated money to kind of like help launch this brand and then like nothing ever came of it and it was just I don't know it was just it was very strange so then to have this happen I'm just kind of like what it just seems odd to me I don't know that's my thoughts I've seen a lot of people being really excited about it because yes Lisa Frank is definitely nostalgic to me too um it definitely you know takes it takes me back several years let's not say specifically how many years but it takes me back several years but especially like me today and my makeup preferences and looking at just like another big colorful rainbowish palette from morphe i'm like i can pass there is a new collection coming from Sol sola look and this is their dirty dancing one of the most iconic movies of all time coming to your vanity includes a full collection for 87 dollars. there's a dirty dancing palette for 38 uh, the I Carried a Watermelon Magic Liquid Eyeliner and Adhesive. There's eyelashes, there's a beauty sponge, there's a makeup bag, and a baby custom pencil portrait signed by the artist. Okay, so super cute. Like the sponge has their lift that they do at the end. That is super cute. I don't know what it is though about these collections from Solo Look that really don't catch my attention, even when they've been with collaborations that I really enjoy. Like Dirty Dancing, one of my like all-time favorite movies. I mean, I I definitely started watching that movie when I was too young and there's been times that I've watched it as an adult and been like that's what was going on. <laughs> Interesting. Same way, same with Grease. <laughs> same with Grease. But I but something about these they just like don't quite hit it out of the park for me. I don't know what that's about and I don't know why. I don't like I don't have something that I can put my finger on and be like this is the reason. I just, I don't know. Sponge is definitely very cute though. The eyeshadow palette doesn't do a whole lot for me to be honest. Um, the lashes look cute, but I think I'm gonna end up passing on this one. It's like one of those that I really want to like it more than I actually do. It just didn't really turn my attention. Wet n Wild is coming out with their holiday collection. This is their Star Luxe collection. So we have some different shadow quads for $5, the Glitter Highlighter Duo for $5, uh, the Star Lux Starlighter brush for $5, there's a lip scrub for 4 and a Star Lux lip gloss for $3. Price is always fantastic. I mean, Wet n Wild usually keeps their prices so super affordable. The quad with like that emerald green, <laughs> I know, who am I? The quad with the emerald green, I feel like that one kind of stuck out to me because it just kind of gives me those holiday vibes. Emerald green was definitely like my, maybe this is what started it, but last year around this time i really started wearing a lot of that color a lot more and i still i mean you'll i'll be busting them out again don't i mean i already got my big fuzzy sweater on today uh but that color just gives me some feelings so my eyes kind of went right to that one um out of the whole collection though i don't think that i would need to grab anything even though one wild has some really affordable prices some of their products are just a miss for me that it's like even if it is more affordable it's still something that i don't love and usually a lot of times with their eyeshadows, that's kind of how I feel. So um, I'm probably going to end up passing on these, but those quads do look cute. All right, from Anastasia for Black Friday. I cannot believe we're almost at Black Friday. What is happening? Um, so we have Vaults and Lipsticks by Anastasia Beverly Hills. We have a new lipstick formula, Smooth and Creamy in Praline, Tease, and Velvet. will be available November 17th on the website. There's also a Sultry Vault. You get the full... Ooh. Oh, the full-size sultry eyeshadow palette, a full-size liquid liner, a full-sized lash mascara, and an eye primer deluxe sample. Interesting. Will be available November 22nd. I, I really enjoyed the sultry palette, and that one was limited edition, so that's 
definitely mm, okay then um we also have a jackie ina vault with the eyeshadow palette a full-size liquid liner lash mascara and eye primer deluxe sample available november 22nd there's a collector's case to build your own vault two palettes of your choice at 30 percent off you can choose from modern renaissance soft glam norvina riviera Alyssa edwards jackie ina or carly bible available november 22nd that's really not bad nothing that i need because i i have most of the items that are um, going to be available or in the vault. The lipsticks from Anastasia don't tend to be my favorite. I know that they said that these are a new formula, but I just purchased some lips from the Vive line, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try those, but that doesn't sound too bad. Speaking of Black Friday, Pat McGrath does have their Black Friday sale is happening now. So on their website, you can get 25% off your purchases under 150 or 30% off purchases of 150 plus. So I saw that this morning. I shared a little bit about it because I know a lot of people get excited for like the Pat McGrath um, Black Friday sales or Natasha Denona. So I saw that Pat McGrath has officially kicked off. So I, of course, we'll have that link down below. Huda Beauty is also coming out with an advent calendar. I don't know what it is. I always get excited about advent calendars. But this is the 12 Days of Beauty. You have 12 bestsellers from the makeup line, also the skincare line, and the fragrance line. Okay, so this is 175 and it looks like a variety of different products in here. We have some lashes, looks like some fragrances, a mascara, uh, I believe the double-ended shadow stick is in there, an eyeshadow palette, a lipstick, a lip liner, the wishful skin um, enzyme scrub, and also the thirst trap mask. That's pretty neat. I don't need to grab it for myself because I have a lot of the products that are already in here or the ones that I don't have I'm not super interested in, but you know, just another advent calendar. Ugh, I was seeing people getting these advent calendars from Aldi's. I don't know if, I think Aldi's is maybe like a Midwest thing. I'm not really that positive, but I was really jealous. People were getting like wine advent calendars, excuse me, and also like cheese, like, like little snack things that had like some cheese in it. I have never wanted to go to an Aldi's as badly as I have, and I don't really ever shop at Aldi's. We don't have one in this new town, so I didn't have an option to be able to go, because I wasn't going to, you know, drive 90 minutes just for an advent calendar that usually sells out right away, but I thought about it. I thought about it. <laughs> Let's just move on. All right, speaking of, well... It's not really an advent calendar, but still, this, this seemed really cool. From Estee Lauder, this is the 33 Beauty Essentials. It is $75 with any purchase of 45 or more, but the set that you're getting for 75 is a $450 value. Like, that seems like a really good deal. It is limited edition. It's limited quantities. It includes 12 full-size products, including their new advanced night repair multi-recovery complex. You get to choose a moisturizer. Like, there's, I believe, two different moisturizers you can choose from. There is pure, co pure color envy eyeshadow palettes, a mascara, lipsticks, lip glosses, the advanced night repair eye supercharge complex, a makeup remover, and a train case. So if you purchase anything for 45, it's exclusive to the Estee Lauder website, and then you pay $75 for this. Like, if these are products you love, products you can gift out, products you can, I mean, I thought I was reading that wrong. It That seems pretty awesome. That's kind of like up your alley. That might be something to take a closer look right, at. We have some new lip products coming out. So Charlotte, Charlotte Tilbury, my girl, she has got a couple things coming out. So we have the Tinted Love. This is a poppy red lip and cheek tint with hydrating long lasting color that glides on wet and leaves your lips and cheeks with a natural looking satin stain finish with a blendable buildable texture. These are $34. Huh. Okay, it does say they're different shades, so I don't think all of them are poppy red. I don't know if I would absolutely love that. I don't know if it would totally be my thing. I don't think that I need it either. So I'm, I'm probably gonna end up passing on these, but that's one option from Charlotte Tilbury, or she also has a new lip balm coming. This is the Glowgasm. Limited edition. Looks like there's only two shades. One has like a ton of sparkle actually in it, and I can't quite tell what the other one is gonna be like. If it's gonna be clear, I'm not really sure there. And the one with all the sparkles looks really fun, but as, I, I don't see a price on this post, but I have a feeling that it's going to be more expensive. And I just don't really want to pay a high price tag for lip balms. Like, Pat McGrath has her lip balms also, but they're like in the $30 range. And I'm like, 
I just don't really want to do that for a lip balm. You know, if you love lip balms and that's your thing, like this could be an option for you. But I don't, I love Charlotte's lip products, but I'm just, I'm not there on the balms, you know? All right, moving to something a little bit more affordable. Milani is also coming out with a new lipstick. This is the Color Fetish Shine Lipstick. Sheer to medium coverage, ultra moisturizing, balm-like lipstick with an 85% blend of nourishing oils. It's supposed to leave the lips moisturized with a lustrous pop of color. Uh, these are $8.99 in 12 different shades. I was reading through some of the comments and people are saying how much they love the packaging and I actually didn't. And I'm usually not one that like, not to say that I don't care about packaging because I care, but it's like little things, to me little things that frustrate other people or other people don't like, I'm usually like, eh, whatever. Like, I don't know, it doesn't really bother me, I don't care. But something about this, I was like, I don't know, I don't, I don't really like that. I don't feel like I'm gonna go for this one though. Uh, again, it's supposed to be like this balm like lipstick. I don't know if I would really love that and it's supposed to have a lustrous shine to it And that's not I usually typically either I'm preferring a gloss or a matte lip I don't like the in-between probably gonna pass on that, but that's a good price. All right speaking of drugstore I do see a new mascara coming from Maybelline. This is the lash sensational sky-high lengthening and volume and volume mascara online at Maybelline. Uh, this has a flex tower mascara brush, bends to volumize and extend every single lash from root to tip. A washable mascara formula. Washable, so that just means like it's easy to remove. I don't know if I've ever read anything like that. Um, infused with bamboo extract and fibers removes easily. Okay, so maybe that's what it was going for. $11.49 for this price. I will say I did like really enjoy a lot of Maybelline mascaras. I repurchased so many back in the day, that's for sure. Uh, I don't know if I would absolutely need to try this. I just purchased the Lash Stash also in my last Sephora haul. If you haven't seen it, you really should. Uh, but I purchased the Sephora Favorites Lash Stash. So I'm pretty stocked up on mascaras, but we'll see. If a lot of people are talking about this one, I might go out and grab it. From Real Techniques, they have some holiday sets available at Walmart and also Amazon, the Disco Glow Holiday Collection. I'm a big fan of Real Techniques. I like their brushes, I like the sponges. I recommend them. They have one that has just a bunch of different sponges. That looks like a great set. There's one with just eye brushes. That looks pretty cool too. There's ones with brushes and sponges. I mean, these look pretty great. I'll link them in my description box below, but definitely these can make great gifts or they're just really nice to have for yourself. Too. We are about finished. I see a new skincare product from Murad and thank goodness because I'm pretty sure this lash is like hanging on by a thread. If you've noticed it, trust me. My eye has also noticed it. All right, so from Murad, we have a new product and a new addition to the Environmental Shield family. Say hello to the Rapid Dark Spot Correcting Serum. Rapidly re reduce the look of dark spots and hyperpigmentation. This intensive serum promotes surface cell turnover for brighter, more even skin. All right, so this is, wow, this is gonna be $72. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, it's like someone pinched me. Murad is definitely more pricey. There are some products though from Mira that I really enjoyed, that I've repurchased myself, that I am a really big fan of. Um, but, you know, sometimes their price tags, I'm like, ah, I'm just gonna go ahead and wait for it, stop pitching me. Like, I'm just gonna go ahead and wait for a sale. But this is gonna be available November 16th. I don't feel like I need this particular one. I do have certain products in my skincare collection right now that are kind of um, targeting the dark spots for me. I think I'm pretty good here, but I do in my latest empties video that I posted, I did use up the Murad like vitamin C and SPF moisturizer. And I really do want to repurchase that. So they do, they have some good ones, but the prices can be a little high sometimes. Speaking of skincare, I thought this was interesting. We have a new brand coming. I know that might sound shocking because we don't often get a lot of new beauty brands coming into the space, but we do this week. Let me tell you about it. This is created by Pharrell. And I mean, if you've ever seen him, like, I don't think he has ever aged. So I'm very, so him coming out with a skincare line, I'm like, tell me more, tell me more. So launching with these three products, oh, it's called Human Race, if I didn't say that. Launching with these first three products, a rice powder cleanser for $32, uh, the Lotus Enzyme Exfoliator, for 46 and the humidifying cream moisturizer, which is $48, will be available November 25th to the Human Race website. Okay, I'm kind of curious about this. I do feel like, so we have like the rice powder. I use one like that already from Tatcha that I really enjoy. And then like the enzyme exfoliator kind of makes me wonder if it'd be similar to the Wishful. And I say that not as like, I feel like it's, 
you know, duplicating or copycatting, but I'm saying like, I have products like that in my collection, but it's also like, do I have more than one moisturizer? Yes. Do I have more than one exfoliator? Also yes. Do I have more than one AHA, BHA product? Yes, I do. I'm not saying that it's going to deter me from purchasing them, but I don't know. The packaging, I like the packaging. I like that green, it's like very catchy. I might just try these out. I don't, it's like, do I wait for reviews or do I try it out first? I don't know. Oh, I'm like so excited. I can't even get my words out. Or this gloss bomb is just making my lips feel really big. <laughs> Ooh, something was actually just posted. All right. Also from Huda Beauty. She has quite dominated <laughs> this. Will I buy it? Uh, we have new minis, mini power bullet kits, $21 each. Ooh. So we have the power reds, the power nudes, Ooh, Power Res Power Nudes. I feel like I said that funny because I was just reading this for the first time. I do like these lipsticks from Huda Beauty. I have one in Joyride, but the Power Nudes doesn't include that one. So it has Interview, Confident, Girls Trip. Is that all? I feel like she just posted this, so I don't know if like quite everything is there because it looks like four come in each. Mmm. Let's say available now. If I can see them, I will link them down below, but I like that they're minis. Ooh kind of catches my attention all right so i was just going to finish off talking about kylie skin is coming out with the bath collection so if you are a big bath lover this could be an option for you we have two candles at 28 dollars each or the bundle for 56 there's also rose bath salts for 28 a body scrub for 26 the bubble bath for 26 which i thought the packaging on that was super cute and the full collection is 136 or you can do a trio bundle of 80 dollars for the bath salts body scrub and bubble bath okay I'm not gonna lie, I, I don't love taking baths. I, I know a lot of people find it like really relaxing and just like great and I just find it like, I feel like I think I, I find it very restricting. Like it's like I can't do anything else. <sighs> I'm always like multitasking. It's really hard for me to just like sit. But in a bath, it's like I know that I would be forced to just be sitting but then at the same time, I feel like I'd kind of be going crazy. I thought the packaging on everything looked super cute. It's just, I don't feel like it's just really going to be one for me, but I wanted to mention it because it sounds very relaxing and, and nice. So that's how I thought we would end this week. So will I buy it? So that is it. Let me know what you thought of all these products. Of course, what has your interest the most? What are you not so interested in? Stay tuned because there's going to be some hauls coming up, not only from Cult Beauty. I placed an order from Ulta Beauty recently. So we are not done with the hauls yet, but I hope that you enjoyed this. Will I buy it? If you did, please make sure to give this one a thumbs up. I hope you'll also consider subscribing before you go and I will see you in my next video.